Hey everyone, this is Daniel and in today's quick video, we're going to take a look at the Microsoft Forms new practice mode for quizzes. And the practice mode actually helps and encourages all the respondents who are taking the quizzes and if they made any mistakes to challenge them to fix it immediately. So besides the fact that this is a very important feature, it overall is just truly awesome. So definitely stick around. But first, here's my intro video. So in Microsoft Forms, the option to build a quiz has been there for quite some time. And we also have the settings where in the settings you can go and take a look at the option for quiz, even show the results automatically. So that's already been there. However, the option for practice mode is something new. And let me explain that to you more in detail by actually creating a new quiz. So I'm going to go and create a new quiz. I'm going to go and say practice math. And then I'll go ahead and add a choice and I'll say first question is sum of one plus one and I'll put in some options. So I'll put in say one, I'll also have to put in two, I'll go and put in say five, and that's it, I'll just leave that for now. And obviously one plus one is two, so we just wanna make sure I check over here because that is the correct answer. So we've created the quiz and we've gone ahead and at least added one quiz question. Now what I wanna do is go to the top right of the ellipses, click on that, click on settings, and there you go. Practice mode is now the additional feature available for quiz. So let's read what it says. It says respondents can practice at their own pace and see correct answers for every questions before submitting. And it also has a demo. So if I would click on it, another tab opens up and you can actually see the exact same thing that I'm gonna do over here, all right? So we'll take a look at that if you have more time. Um, but what I wanna do is first turn that on and start to really test it. And the best way to do that is go ahead and click on preview. Also keep in mind, I don't have to make any other additional setting changes. All I gotta do for the practice mode is just toggle that on, all right? So I'll click on preview, and now here we go. Sum of one plus one, we know it's two, but I'm just gonna pretend like I'm making a mistake. I'm gonna click on one, and now I'll try to do a submit. This new feature comes up, says, nice try, you are almost there, try again. I like the way that it's actually telling you that, hey, it's not correct, uh, but go ahead and try that again. So let's even do the next one, okay? We'll intentionally make a mistake. I'll select five, click on submit, and then the exact same thing happens. It says basically, try again. Also, it's giving me another option. It's saying, hey, show me the correct answer. So right here, it'll actually show me the correct answer. But when you go and select that option, the submit is basically grayed out. So the only option I have is complete the practice test. And when you do that, it gives you a little celebration saying it's completed. But what happens is over here, you can actually go and do a recap of the question, saying, hey, this is a revealed correct answer. This is the one that I selected, but this is the correct answer. So the overall effect of this is pretty neat. But what I'm gonna do is add a few more of these questions and really test this practice question. Uh, so I'll go ahead and add another choice. I'll go ahead and say this is sum of two plus two. And let's go ahead and add some options. So we'll say this is say three. Uh, we'll put in one correct answer, which is four. And we'll also go ahead and change this to say six. Uh, this is the correct one. Um, and then now this is going to be inside a whole section. So actually I should do this add plus, go ahead and click, create a new section. Um, in that section is where I want to actually get this one in here. So let me see if I can drag and drop that one down um, inside my section, which is perfect. I'm not going to say anything about the section name. Um, we'll also go and add another last section. Let's go and put another one, another section. In this section, I'll go and add another choice. Uh, choice, this will be the sum of, say, three. Uh, let's do times three, okay? For our first option, I'll put that as six because that could be an honest mistake. Put that as nine. And then I'll also go and say, just put in 10. And then this is the correct answer, all right? So I think we've got everything good over here. Now let's go and do a test. So now that we've got three sections done, we actually see all of them over here. But I just want to test to see how the practice works. So I'm going to start by making a mistake. And I'll go and click on Submit. We know that it's going to tell us this thing over here. Uh, let me go and put in two. And I'll click on Submit. Great. Now it says, great effort for your progress. It allows me the next button. So I click on the next. We are in section number two. Um, let me go and just put in a correct answer. Submit, now it shows me excellent, which is neat because it's actually encouraging me even more. Go to next, and now for this one, sum of three times, I should have multiplied by three times, but you know what I'm doing. I'll click on nine, click on submit, and over here, again, it says excellent, but now it says complete the practice. So you kind of understand how this is all working, that the whole concept of this thing is practice. This is not built for the real quiz. This is built purely for practice sake. So just be mindful of these important settings. 
First of all, it only works for a quiz. I already told you that. I just want to give you as a reminder. When you go and click on a new quiz, this is the only place where you will see the option for practice. And to see it, you click on the ellipses and by default, the practice mode is toggled off. That's an important thing, all right? It's by off. Also, it doesn't only work for people in your organization. It can even work for the anonymous access. If I go and now set, set the, if I go and now select anyone and can respond, which is basically anonymous access, um, you see the practice mode doesn't get grayed out. You can still use the practice mode for that as well. So keep in mind that you have multiple options over here, but these were the three big settings that you should be aware of. So like I mentioned in the introduction, that besides the fact that this additional practice mode is pretty neat, it also is pretty cool because we didn't have to do any additional settings for all of those nice UI interface to come in, which was good job or excellent. It automatically goes ahead and does that. And also keep in mind is that this is a practice mode, which means you use this to prep your students or whoever ahead of time before they take the real quiz. That's the whole concept of it. And it can be done both for internal users as well as the anonymous, which is anybody else as well. This feature is pretty neat and I happily welcome it. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.